Okay, guys, I feel like it's now time to talk about what happened to us on route from Rome to Puglia. So... Oh, you guys. We're in a Amalfi. The ladies are ladying. <laughs> this hotel and this view is unbeatable. I don't think I'll ever get over it. It's the prettiest place I've ever been. This hotel, I'm sorry. Girls weekend. <laughs> Taylor, I'm on a golf cart. <laughs> <laughs> Check in, play. Oh my gosh. Where are we in or out? I asked for outside. Okay. Bye. Love you. Salute. Salute. My 8,000th spread of the trip. We have burrata. Grazie. Okay, guys. We're not gonna tell. Or she could be you have to tell. You're no, I won't tell. Okay. <laughs> I find like you gotta tell me. Uh, Opening weekend is like my family's big. Like, yeah, all my uncles and cousins and everyone goes out. It's like a reunion. It's cappuccini time. Mm. Oh my gosh, Little Mermaid's playing. Whoa. Good morning. Are you kidding me? No, this is insane. This is real. Yeah, I'm not oh here my right God. now. Yeah. I'm gonna stay here all day. Cat, yeah. are you gonna cry? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe they're playing a little more rain. It's gonna be a great day. This is the epitome so of pretty. breakfast with the view. Yeah. <laughs> Whose yacht is that? We still haven't found mine. Mine. Any Russia? That tells me they have breakfast with the view. I'm like, but do you? No, 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 no. But do you? Buongiorno. We are going on a cad ride today. I'm so excited. Cav, are you almost ready? <laughs> We are going on a catamaran to Capri today, which will be so fun. Capri is like the most stunning place I've ever been in my entire life, so I'm so excited to go back there. It's gonna be a great day. Also, they were playing instrumental Disney music at breakfast. Favorite playlist of all time. Four, I'm the DJ! Thank you. 
I'm like, lay it us now. We're animals, we're going out. And literally, I'm speaking in a Boston accent because of Sydney. Ugh. Everywhere I go. Everywhere, he's stuck. <laughs> One and a half, less than a third. This is stressful. And it's like, okay, we're going the right way. Singing in her. I also really wanted to walk and see this. Okay, hi you guys. We are in Priano, Positano, Amalfi Coast. I'm gonna miss those bells. You hear those? I wanted to give a quick little room tour in case anybody's interested in staying here. This is an incredibly stunning property, an amazing staff. I mean, the staff is like so attentive. Um, so they actually upgraded us to a two bedroom, two bath, which was so clutch because there was three of us bringing our luggage up because we're leaving to go to the airport. We're actually staying in Naples tonight, um, right outside the airport, so Napoli. So we're checking out. Um, but this is like, all of this is like really high quality tile. Like great showers, which was a, such a nice treat. Um, after being in Italy, I feel like showers are usually not big or spacious or anything. So this hotel has just been a breath of fresh air. Um, and then you walk in, it's just like very like Amalfi, Southern Italy vibes. Big king bed, we've got some armoire storage, um, coffee. This, I mean, you guys have seen this patio, but it's like huge and it's amazing. We've spent so much time out here. We've been stocking all the super yachts that are coming in. Look at how beautiful. It's like, this is Positano. Priano is it's just like a 10 minute drive from Positano and I, love where we've stayed. It's just truthfully so, so stunning. And then we walk back into the room. And here are my and Cab's little quarters. We were like roomies um, for three days and it was so fun. Like it was just, it's literally just perfect. I know it looks like a mess because it is, but we had fun in here. A uh, little TV, little armoire situation, just like tons of room for three guests. And then there's actually another bathroom behind this door. So it was just so perfect for a girl's trip and a pretty big shower, which was great. But again, like beautiful, more spacious bathrooms than I've been used to for the past 10 days. Okay guys, I feel like it's now time to talk about what happened to us in on route from Rome to Puglia. So one of my best friends, Barb, Barb and her boyfriend Sid, who we're very close to, um, we have been planning to drive from the whole entire time. We were planning to fly into Rome and drive from Rome to Puglia, which is supposed to be like a three and a half to five hour drive, depending on traffic. Um, but it was, it said it was four hours on my phone. So we were like, great. We left at like 945, supposed to get there before two. Welcome parties at six. So 
To preface this, you guys, I have written down, when we had some downtime while we were charging this car, I had written down everything that went wrong that day. This is a note to myself. Mm. This is a note to myself of everything that happened to us that day that went wrong. I'm telling you, and then we remembered a couple more at the bottom. Everything that could go wrong did. We had like two miracles during the day. One, that I had a portable bank charger. Like if we had, if our phones would have died, we literally would still be in the New Mexico Breaking Bad version of Italy. It was so scary. So, okay, let me start. So the first thing happened where we were obviously hungover because we went out in Rome and we stayed out till like two and it was so fun. We met so many amazing people, yada, yada, yada. Wake up, there is human diarrhea outside of Barb and Sid's Airbnb. Like literally making me almost vomit. We couldn't get a taxi. We had to sit there, we had to walk. This led to me getting like six new blisters, um, hyperventilating on the side of the street with my luggage. No bueno. This is really, so we get to Hertz, which was just like a shit show in Rome. Like if you know the, if you know the taxi or what is it? The Rome Termini, which is like the train station, the car rentals, all that. It's like everyone in Rome is there and it was so busy and we had all of our luggage and then we eventually got the car at Hertz. So Sid got the car and they gave us an electric car, which is really where things went wrong. This is like the biggest mistake of the day. If you are doing a road trip, um, literally anywhere, but especially in Europe, you guys, do get a gas car. So Barb knew that we needed a gas car, but Sid was the one that checked us out of Hertz. So we get up to the car and Sydney doesn't know how to and Barb is pissed because it's it's electric and we're like, Maggie, it's fine, like whatever. It's gonna be okay. Like we'll get there in this electric car. Sid doesn't know how to start it. It's like super techy. Like you didn't even start it. You just start it, you just put it in drive and it would go. So wild. So anyway, we, we've got this car, we're hungover, we haven't eaten, and then we're on the road, right? And it says on my phone, it says four hours, 15 minutes away. On the car, it was kind of the same. So we're like, let's put the Hamilton soundtrack on because when we're done with that, we'll get there. And it'll be like, yay, we're there, right? After the soundtrack. We were like driving, we're going through all these tiny little like mountain vibe towns in Italy. Um, Absolutely not a freeway in sight. I was like so surprised. I was like, Italy is so behind the game. Why do they not have freeway? I was like, oh, we have so many freeways in the States. Like, why do they not have freeways here? This is wild. We are literally winding through the tiniest little towns, people passing us, like flipping, racing on the side of the road, all the things. Mind you, again, I'm like looking at the map on my phone and it's like the car is saying different things, but the car app was Google Maps. So I was like, okay, we can trust Google Maps. Like Google Maps is as valid as Apple. So if not more. So I'm like, okay, whatever the car says is fine. Like we all kind of agreed that the car, we zoomed in a hundred million times to confirm the hotel. Like it was the right hotel, all the things. Like it was two miles from the coast. We are absolutely navigational wizards now. And I'm like telling this way too long and I just wanna kind of summarize, but long story short, we took 14 hours to get to Puglia and it was supposed to take four. And it's because the car was electric and we had to keep charging it in the most like scariest places in Rome. I'm, when I tell you we stopped in the most remote places I've ever been in the world, like literally think of Breaking Bad, like the scary episodes where they're like making crack, like that is exactly what it looked like. We had to go like eat at this gas station place where there was for sure like three day old pizza sitting out, it had hot dogs on it. And I was like, oh my God, we're gonna get the most authentic food, like being in these like remote places in Italy. And literally you guys, this pizza had hair on it. They microwaved it for us and Sid ate his. I did not eat mine. I literally was like, I would just rather starve. I was just like, we're in this really remote place and I was like, we have to get out of this town before we, it gets dark. Like a semi literally stopped in its tracks like on a dime to watch Maggie cross the street. And I was like, we're leaving. We need to get out of here. So what we ended up doing was filling up the tank, filling, like charging the car up enough to be able to get to a little place called Barletta and this was like a tiny little coast town, but you could see on the map that it was like an actual city. And they had some chargers there. We couldn't end up finding the chargers. We had literally two kilometers until we ran out. Um, when I tell you like every single thing went wrong and then we, it did, like we went, we would get to a charger and then it would be late at night and they'd say like, hey, I'm closing down this charger because someone would actually own it. And like, whether it was in gated, like in a gated parking lot or 
whatever. Also, mind you, it took so long to charge this car. Like it was like we'd get 15% in two hours. So we had all this downtime, nowhere to go. So scared, so hot. Thank God for my portable fan, you guys. That's the other lifesaver of the day. So Maggie like mentions that we need to get our makeup out and our dresses out. And I'm just kind of sitting there and I'm like, there's just no chance we make it to the welcome party tonight which was honestly, obviously hard, the hardest part. Like we wanted so badly to be at the welcome party and to celebrate like Lauren and Tucker and kick off of the wedding week and all of that. But we just had to go with the flow and and I'm missing like, I read like 0.2 parts of this whole entire note, but honestly, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go through everything because this would be like a three hour block. I will say though, when we got to the supermarket tea where I bought these, um, knockoff cracks that absolutely saved my life. I finally, we finally are charging the car. We made it, we're like an hour from Puglia and we're gonna wait there for like three or four hours for the car to charge. And there was like a supermarket, it was perfect. I go into the supermarket, you guys, to relieve myself. They finally have toilet paper. There's finally a toilet seat on the toilet. Like nowhere we stopped on the whole entire 14 hour trip had toilet seats, toilet paper, anything. Like I was like, what is going on? And I'm relieving myself. Like I'm putting water on my neck. Like I'm so, I'm so truthfully so relieved. Like we made it. Like I literally was in the bathroom. Like, thank you, Lord. Like that was actually really scary. Like if we broke down, like whatever, I'm like, we're going to have to call the U S embassy. This is insane. So as I'm like flushing the toilet, I pull the string to flush the toilet and then nothing flushes. So I'm like, Oh, and I find like a tiny little button on the wall and I hit that. I'm out like refreshing, like washing, washing, like the card, like the day off my face. Like I'm dapping wet towels on my neck. I go out of the supermarket tea and everyone has evacuated. The butcher comes into the bathroom and is literally like speaking Italian to me. And I'm like, scusi, like I'm in here using this restroom. Like, I don't know what your rules are here in Italy, but when the door is closed, it's closed. I put off the alarm and the whole supermarket had to evacuate. And I was literally like, oh, scusi, I'm out of here. So sorry. Um, I want to die. Like literally it was so bad. And then the worst part is, it's like five minutes later, we had to go in there and like get dinner. So Barb said, and I had like, I had prosciutto yogurt and a chocolate milk for dinner. Really, really was thinking like we'd find like a mom pop, like Italian dinner spot, like really fresh pasta, but we never did. And long story short, we ended up getting to the hotel at like one. We left at nine. It was just, Truthfully, it was the most movie-esque day of my life. And my poor friend Maggie was crying and I was just like, it's gonna be okay. Sid did amazing, Barb did amazing. Like we made it, it was just wild. And I've never had like that big of a hiccup in a travel day, maybe my life. Like it's also just really scary to do it in Europe, like abroad where people like really didn't speak English. So like we tried to switch out the car in New Mexico, um, but they didn't speak English. The Hertz didn't speak English. So it was like, we were really running on bare bones and trying to figure out like what we could do. And we all put our heads together and figured it out. I'm so grateful my dad had me play with maps when I was young because navigationally I could figure out like we need to go Southeast on A16. Like I know the freeways. I know how to charge an EV. I know how to get an app in Inc. Like we have, the, like Sid has like five Italian charging station apps on his phone. Like it just was like so wild you guys. And big takeaway, do not rent an EV in Europe. Like make sure it's a gas car. Like if it was a gas car, we would have literally gotten there in four hours. Also, the other really big thing was that the people that had previously rented the car had no tolls on in the maps, like that setting. So we were winding through all the mountains, skipping the freeways, skipping the tolls, taking an extra four hours because we went the scenic route without tolls. We were going, th and then when we finally got on the freeway and understood that the no toll thing was on, we were going through tolls saying we'd come from Rome and every single toll stop was like a hundred euro. And we were literally like, this place is insane. Like, where are we? Why is everything so expensive? How do we take a ticket at the toll? It was just such a mess. Like it was, it was truthfully a recipe for disaster. And Barb was right. Like she was like, we cannot take an electric car, but we were like way too lazy to go back and trade it out and see what's available and all the stuff. So it was just, it feels like forever ago now and you know, hindsight 2020, but that's what happened. The skip toll setting was on and we had an electric car and it was just such a shit show, you guys. There's like a list of like 60 things that little things that went wrong throughout the day that just seem so funny now, but we were literally like crying, laughing, like what else do you do in that scenario? So anyway, I'll probably be talking about that story on the vlog for like 1400,000 years in the future. It was truthfully tragic and 
we learned a lot, but we've had like the best trip and it's, I go home tomorrow. I'm ready to see the dogs. I'm ready to see Taylor, but that was really just a trip and a half. And we were really sad to miss the welcome party, but the wedding was 10 star as you guys saw. And as you know, um, truthfully one of the best days of my life. This hotel has been great. Everywhere we stayed has really actually been great. Um, and now we are gonna go up on the rooftop, lay out by the pool before we get a taxi to Napoli, uh, pizza capital of the world. It's actually the origin of pizza. So that's most likely what I'll be eating for dinner tonight. And yeah, Positano Priano has been great. I probably will talk about that in a separate like segment on this because this has been a long story. And by the way, this story was cut into like, that was like an 18th of the actual story. I honestly don't wanna go into the whole thing and get like riled up. So anyway, we're gonna go lay out at the pool. Thanks for revisiting the trauma of trying to get from to Puglia from Rome. Um, let's go read in the sun and enjoy this last day in Amalfi. It's just truthfully one of the most magical places on earth for sure. Are we kidding? Wow. 